Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to hyperlink to specific portions of your Google Earth projects and how to include links to external sources as well. Let's go ahead and take a look here at my simple Google Earth project here in the web version of Google Earth, sometimes referred to as a Google Earth tour. And you can see I have four places right here in my tour about skiing and biking in Western Maine. Now, let's go to this first one right here, which is all about the Mount Abram ski area and bike park. And you can see here, I've written in, it's a great place for kids to learn to ski. Now, I also want to include in here a link to the view of my favorite ski trail. So I've done that by already creating this little view of the snow fields. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and edit this marker. And so instead of just saying a great place for kids to learn to ski, I'm going to say, check out my favorite trail. And in my favorite trail, I'm just going to highlight this, select the add link option. I'm going to link to a feature in this document. And I'm going to link to the snow fields, which is my favorite place on the mountain. And I can select fly to and show the features panel content. Or I can say just fly to the feature or I can show the feature on the globe or hide the feature on the globe. In this case, I'm going to fly to the feature. And so now when we view this, people will see that little comment box and they can check out my favorite trail. That's going to take them right into that place where my favorite trail is the snow fields, and then they can go and see that view of it. Now, I've done the same thing here with my map of Sunday River Resort, and I'm going to, again, edit this and say, check out my favorite trail. And I'm going to link to it and say, fly to the feature. And I'm going to, in this case, fly to and show the features panel content and the feature is going to be this is my favorite run and that'll take people directly to where my favorite run is on the mountain now this can be useful for hyperlinking a bunch of different places together and linking back and forth between them i'm also going to put point out that you can do something like this and say learn more about the mountain and include a link to an external site by doing this exact same thing so learn more about the mountain we're going to link to our url in this case and apply that and so now i have two links right there and of course this will all come together very nicely when we present it. You can say, check out my favorite trail or learn more about the mountain. So that's how you can hyperlink to different places within your Google Earth projects or tours. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.